Good morning and welcome to today. So good morning, welcome to you guys. Welcome to our daily life. And today we're going tack shopping and to get something so exciting. In a recent video I showed you guys about how Molly's been literally trying to herd the horses. And she doesn't usually go for Penny because Penny, Penny fights back. Go get him. No, don't tell her that. No, Pe Molly. She run. What she does is go for the little ones. Anyway, I think the the girls are are thinking that they're done this field because I see them over here staring at the big grass next door. But look at the miracle and that is today. God created this unbelievable, gorgeous bouquet of flowers. And there's another. And if you're ever feeling like the world is getting you down, just go out there and look for a miracle. Every day there's a miracle and we just don't realize it because we get accustomed to the miracles. The miracles of this beautiful girl. So if you took Willow in there. <laughs> I said, hey, you told me to. I said, go in there and get some treats. <laughs> Willow said, no way. I'm not going in there. Mom, I can flex. My pony just walked up to me. Yeah, so if you can flex, her pony just walked right up to her. We trained them good. And I like to always have a treat here for them. Wait. Wait. Watch what she does. Wait up, Penny. Be gentle. She's so aggressive when she like she shoves her face in the halter and she shoves her I'm face. On I'm on a no touching. Yeah, I was wondering, Gabby. That's what it feels like to be tall. How do you feel? I hate it. <laughs> I love being tall. I just made average height. Let me see. Back up. No, my natural height, I just made average height. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's taller. I'm 5'9", and she's like, you're probably like 6'5". You're probably taller than dad there. Yeah, probably. One, I think so. She gets the smallest. I'm 6'5". You get medium? There you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go, sweet girls. All right, let's see if we can tip Gabby off. Tips. No, look. Look, it's yeah, tipping. Yeah, I see it. Okay, so last night Sam and I were talking about how, like, if we were going to get another dog, what kind would we get? We're not getting another dog right now, but I'm talking about, like, when we move to another farm or if we were ever going to get another dog. And I always ask him these questions because I want to see, like, what kind of dog he likes better. Like, which it. one of our dogs he likes better. So if we were ever going to get another dog, Gabby, what, what breed would we get? Do you think Dad said the same thing? Yeah. Do you think I said the same thing? Probably. Yeah. Like. So, so anyway. Dad said another one of Ruby, but like. So. Border Collie. So I don't know if I can take somebody's TikTok and put it in our video. I want to show you guys this TikTok. If you give them credit. Well, basically, we yeah, saw a TikTok where there was two Border Collies and then like another less smart breed, and the yeah, and the Border Collies right. were like doing this little routine and they were genius and then the other guy was like trying to teach his dog to sit like you could probably have all seen it and so we were talking about how like i feel like there are dogs that are genius and Border then they're collies just learn faster there are dogs that are genius level and then there are dogs that are like at the bottom of the brain barrel if that makes sense and then there are dogs that are in the middle and then there are dogs and then there are levels between the middle and the high and the low end. Does that make sense? So there are dogs that are genius and then just below genius and then average and then just below average and then dumb. Does that make sense? Listen, these are the levels. Genius, just below genius, average, below average, and really dumb. Which one would Molly be? In between average and genius. She's genius. No, she's genius. Border Collies are genius. She's not dumb. She's genius. So Daisy for the Dalmatian. Oh, dumbest of the dumb. I think she's just below genius. But Dalmatians are the second smartest breed I've ever seen. She's so smart. She's actually really dumb. And she's kind of driven. Like, I don't think it's enough to just be smart. I think you have to be smart and driven, if that makes sense. Like, you have to want to to do stuff. And I think Daisy is just almost at the same level as Molly, just a little bit less. If she was not deaf, I think we even see it more. But anyways, so my point is that if we were ever gonna get another dog, it would be another Border Collie because to suit our lifestyle, 
we love it. Like we come out, Sam and I are always out here doing stuff without the kids, just by ourselves. And that Border Collie is with us always. Like she goes everywhere with us. She goes with Sam when he goes, when he leaves the house. If I'm outside, she comes with me. If Sam's outside, she comes with him. Like she follows every, like that's the only dog that, that has been the most versatile. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. Anyways, my point is that, like, Ruby is so smart. She's a poodle, but she has like issues. We got her when she was two and a half, and she's still amazing. But she has issues where she doesn't enjoy going places with us. She doesn't like enjoy the water. She doesn't enjoy everything that we want to do and then Daisy is that way and she's exactly perfect but the death makes doing some things with her a little bit more difficult come on Gabs anyway on with the video you guys let's go shopping for tack before we go though I just want to show you guys my garden my garden is growing I weeded this morning so no weeds not very many weeds all my tomatoes look Look at that! Peppers, more tomatoes. Look at these early, early tomato plants. Look at no weeds. These are my early tomato plants and they got lots of tomatoes on them. Lots of more peppers. My pumpkins are growing. I've got lots of squashes here. I got some watermelons, which I don't know how well they're gonna do. And then over here, look at these. Did I show you guys this before? These are tiny baby cucumbers. Like that is a tiny baby cucumber. Okay, now let's go tack shopping. Okay, so we just got grain for the girls. Now we're headed to the tack store. But the funniest thing, we were talking, I was talking in the tack store about how, how like, how some how homes are run by the mom and some homes are run by the dad. What What is our home run by? Both of us. By the mom, for the most part. Last night I told Sam, Gabby messaged and said, hey, can I sleep over at my friend's? And I said, message your dad, because sometimes I get tired of managing the house. And I was like, what the heck, he messages? So, so she messages Sam, I'm upstairs, Sam's downstairs, and before I know it, hey, friend's upstairs. And he's like, okay, Gabby messaged me. She wants to sleep over at her friend's, what should I do? <laughs> You're in charge, dude. You're in charge. And he's like, I'm gonna tell her no. It's a school night. And I'm like, okay. And so then he types to her. He looks at me. He's like, shocked that I'm not telling him what to do. I think he, you probably said that to see if I was gonna like get mad and say, no, you say this. No, you do that. But I really wanted him to make a decision. And so he texts her back. Okay, fine. But I'm picking you up at 9 a.m. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, there you go. You did it. Made the decision I would have made all on his own. But anyways, we were talking about that in the store. And the, both ladies in the store were saying that their moms were the boss of their family. Their moms led the family. And both of them said that their grandmothers were really strong women and led the family. And I love that. I feel like the best families are led by women. <laughs> my mom was the leader of our family. So my question to you is... Was, it was or is your family led or being led by um, by the mom or by the dad? Comment below and tell me, just out of curiosity. All right, so that's my question. Is your mom, is your family being led by your mom or by your dad? Let's see who has more, I'm sure it's equal. But anyway, I love being the leader of our family because I'm outgoing and I like making choices and I like making decisions and the choices that we make mean more to me. Like Sam doesn't really care as much, do care as much. Yeah, he doesn't care. But anyway, yeah, that just happened. That's what we do. We go out there in public and we talk about family life with people. All right, we are home from the tax store. I still couldn't vlog in there because shopping doesn't open till tomorrow. But I got more Queen Essence for Penny and Storm really needs this. I'm gonna try and get it for him at the other barn. And I got the nose net, if you're just tuning in. I can never remember how clear I've been about things. But I bought the boys a nose net 
I bought thin and nose net. We're gonna try it. I also bought a bunch of shavings because yeah, that's what you need when you have horses. Some growing wind for the girls. I also got more, more plants for my garden. More plants, you guys. Gardening is just like horses. You can never have enough. You can never have enough plants or enough horses. Don't get me wrong though, we have enough horses. Oh. Oh. Holy heck. Okay, so I got this for you. What do you say? What is it? It's a nose net. Oh. You don't want your horse to wear a nose net, do you? Right? We're gonna try it. We're gonna see. This is the only size they had. Why is it warm? We had to, because we were in the car. It's hot outside. That's it, you guys. I've been wanting to buy what this for two years. Please? Tie them. We will figure it out, Sophie. It's not for you guys. Not for you. I got nothing for you. Nothing, like nothing. This? Yeah, we're gonna try. We're gonna try it on Finn and Chino. Come on here. Put it in here. I'm gonna put it back in the car and take it with us. Girls are still doing schoolwork. That's phenomenal. Tomorrow we have big plans in the evening. Like today, I guess, for you guys. We have big plans in the evening. Big plans. So excited for these plans. So excited. But I didn't have any plans for the daytime. So now we have like such a busy day tomorrow. And I'm the kind of person that has to be busy all the time. Always. Oh, I don't have to be busy. So I know. You are like your dad. Anyways, um, so I'm super excited. Can't wait to share what we're doing tomorrow. But I wanted to tell you guys something. You guys know that we've been getting like so much hate. And by hate, I mean people, mostly young people, making up stories, thinking we do things, even when I tell them that it's not that way. That is gonna happen no matter where you are in life. And because we're on YouTube, it's gonna happen more. It can be overwhelming, especially for another child. And there have been days where I'm like, why, why Laura, why put yourself through this? And then today I got this message and I wanted to share it with you guys. It says, hi, my name is Lupita and I'm 17. I've been riding since I was three and I have taught many people of all ages and abilities and disabilities which was an absolute privilege to see them grow and become proud of themselves but also learn from them too i then had a fall and i injured my back and neck and then i had to stop riding until now i never really got back into riding and then i stumbled upon your channel and i saw that things happen such as your fall and, and the way you've fought through it all and then got back up and started riding again with a positive attitude and it inspired me to start riding again and so I ride every Monday and Saturday and I love it and it's thanks to you thanks to you guys that I learned that getting past my fears of what may happen and just relax and enjoy the moment sorry for rambling on but I just wanted to say that oh my goodness you guys bring me such joy and laughter into my day and I honestly love your videos and I enjoy learning about horse related stuff in the videos and seeing your relationship between you guys and the horses and dogs it's just so beautiful and most importantly I just wanted to say thank you to all of you for letting people like me share your ups and your downs and your journey through life and yeah you guys just rock honestly you guys inspired me to just listen and love and appreciate everything and everyone around me and to just do my best in everything i do and then she said thank you so anyway the reason i wanted to share that with you guys is because today i was feeling a little bit frustrated about a few things and i was having one of those days where i was like oh why laura why and then that's why you guys that is why Every single day, I bring out my camera, whether people are being mean, whether people are <sighs> criticizing us, judging us, and please know that when I'm talking about that, I'm not talking about anybody. If you have not been blocked by me, or if you've not been blocked by me, I don't consider you to be a, a mean person. And I love criticism, and I love advice, and I am open, you guys. I mean, like, really mean people saying stuff that's not true. And... That girl, Lupita, it's why I do this every single day. It's why we do this every single day. It's because there's so much more love out in the world than hate. And sometimes all you see is the hate. But if you look around just a little tiny bit, you will see all the love. And it always overpowers the hate. Always. Every single day. Every single time it overpowers the hate. So if you're struggling, just know that I understand. I get you. Just keep going. Keep pushing forward. Just keep going. Don't let it bother you. Even if it bothers you, just keep pushing past it and just keep going because I can tell you this, nobody successful stops because of somebody being mean to them. Nobody successful cares about what anybody else thinks. So go out there and be successful. <laughs> what do you think, Sophie? What do you think about that girl writing us that letter? 
Awesome. And do you know how many people send me messages about you saying, oh my gosh, Sophia is the most inspiration I've ever had? A lot. A lot, because you push past fears every single day, and you've been mastering a hard pony. And sometimes it's in watching Sophie master a hard pony that makes other people who have given up feel threatened and feel not as brave. And I think sometimes hate comes from all different directions, you guys. You never know where it's coming from. So just remember you're amazing. I love you. We love you. And we're not going to stop. We're going to be there right beside you every single day oh, posting our videos. If you guys have TikTok, you might know this sound. I'm only going to do one part of it. I'm in my mom's car. Broom, broom. I do not know that sound. Comment below if you know that sound. Snake. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody's going through a really goofy stage, you guys, just so you know. Okay, this is the last thing for this video that I wanted to show you guys. You guys know we got bumper balls, and Sophie's scared of them. I know, big surprise. She gets it from me, you guys. A day is gonna come where she's gonna be brave. We just gotta wait for it. She's working on it. Anyway, I told her, Sophie, you're bigger than Gabby. You can knock her out. Cause I'm, <laughs> I believe in knocking her sister out. The first time we did it, I died. Right, because she didn't have confidence in herself. So I said, let's go down there, get the bumper balls on and I will let you work on figuring it out. So oh, well, she's well, like well. me, she has to figure it out. So there will be a re-challenge one day soon, you guys. I want to kill you. Sophie's gonna figure it out so that she can beat her sister. Do you feel like Just you- Just let you know if you break your bones, I don't have my bones. There's no uh, breaking bones when you're wrapped in bubbles. You could break your ankle like my ankle already broke. Nope, it's good. Sylvia is practicing falling. I'm like this too, you guys. I have to practice and make sure I'm okay. So she's <laughs> practicing falling. She has to fall a bunch of times and make sure she's okay. You suffocate, I know, they are suffocating in the heat. You know how I told you that I'm a lover and a fighter? Sophie is only a lover. There's no fight in that girl. No, I can't fight. You can fight. You have to dig deep and find the strength inside you. Find the anger. These things are super hot in the sun, in the heat, in the humidity, but you know what? This footing on my bare feet this is such good footing, you guys. Like, I didn't know anything about footing. And now I see all the different places that we ride. This is nice footing. I love this footing. I would never want any other kind of footing. And if I was a horse, this is where I would want to ride. Don't you know that you're beautiful?